sounds like this month is going to suck, doesn't it? January is going to be massively transformational. It is the time for love. And do not be delusional. Hello and welcome to the energy update for January 2023. Oh my God, what a year we have had for 2022. I think actually what I'm probably going to do is do a review of what has gone on over the last 12 months because there have been so many energetic shifts. There has been, you know, um, shifts on a personal level, on a global level, on a spiritual level, you name it. We have really, really been working hard through 2022. And it was all about... Um, you know, stepping through the murky waters with self through 2022. It was very much about healing. It was very much about looking yourself square in the eye and recognizing what is going on. Now, I'm not going to say that that's not going to be a thread for 2023 because we are on the path of ascension. So we have to realize that that isn't just something that we can do in a year. We are going to have to continue to be brutal with ourselves. We are going to have to, you know, continue this journey of wading through um, our past and the loops that we live in. However, I do have a little bit of positive news for you for January 2023. Thank God I hear you all say. And um, I'm going to be sharing about that imminently. Now, like I say, it's the 1st of January where I am. It's beautifully sunny today. I hope wherever you are receiving this message from that it is beautifully sunny and that you had an amazing evening last night. I do like to share with people. And if you are on my mailing list that will be in the description below, um, you would have received an email from me talking about setting intentions and commitments rather than actually setting resolutions. What I tend to find is that we set ourselves up for a bit of a fail when we set uh, resolution. So it's a really, really important time whereby we can just come back into alignment by saying, I'm going to commit to myself or I'm going to set this intention. My intention for 2023 in the hope to give you a little bit of inspiration is going to be love. To love more, to be loved, to allow love, to feel love. Like that is the intention for 2023. That said, I know there's a lot of travel that I'm going to be doing. That said, I know that there's going to be a lot on a personal level for me through 2023. So it doesn't mean that you can't make these commitments to yourself about what you're going to achieve. And, you know, I've, I've, I've got, I've, I've come flying out of the tracks this morning and I've set a whole long list of intentions. I've decided the way that I want my life to be. I am back in business mode and focus mode and I am ready to create the best soul school that is possibly ever going to take place which is happening on the 4th and 5th of February 2023 so if you haven't got your ticket yet or if you haven't signed up please do click in the link below my team have challenged me to allow um, the ticket sales to go on a little bit longer and to reduce the price so please do go and check out the link and the information will be there for you Right. Enough of that. Let's talk about the energy for January 2023. And my goodness, we ended on a really, really heavy note. The energies of December were so heavy. They were so feisty. There was miscommunication. You know, we've we've just stepped into Mercury retrograde, which is why people are bickering and they're fighting and they're challenging each other and they're hearing things that maybe haven't been said. And it's all of this nonsense going on at the moment. But that said, we do know that this is a period of time for breakdown in communication. So we should definitely be able to watch what we are saying and it's easier said than done sometimes um, and we should be able to just recognize when somebody is either mishearing something or they're, they're they're stuck in a loop so please 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 if there is one thing that I can ask for each and every one of you this January update is to be patient with people the energy for January 2023 is going to arrive with a bang <laughs> like I just said we end up with a bang and we're going to get a bigger bang to start the month the energies have been building and bubbling, just like I've been saying for some time. And I feel now in early January, we are going to see that come to a climax. I believe Mercury retrograde stops around the 19th. So and that actually aligns with when I feel that the energies are going to be changing a little bit. Have you noticed how heavy the energies have been? Um, very intense in the toxic masculine energy. So we need to be recognizing that this stuff is coming up and catching ourselves as it does. Now, like I said a moment ago, it's easier said than done, especially with the stresses of Christmas, the stresses of New Year, the additional pressures that take place. So please do be gentle with yourself, but catch yourself as you are on the go. 
in January, we're going to be stepping out of the murkiness. Woohoo, I hear you say. And we're going to be heading for much lighter, nurturing energy of the divine feminine. Thank goodness. The pressures that have been building for many months now will start to fall away. And the way that this is going to look is we've been in this toxic masculine. We've wanted to be stepping through our healing, but it's really been painful. So we've been arguing, we've been fighting, we've been, you know, pushing it away because we think we've got our stuff together. We feel that we aren't delusional at all, not in the slightest. And these energies have been sent to us to really, really shake us to the core for us to elevate and to actually look at what is important and look at who the person is that we are choosing to be. So again, I just want to go back. I would like you guys to start this energy update by asking yourself, um, asking you to remind yourself of the loops that you have been living in. Have you been stuck in a loop over Christmas? Are you working through something for the last time? Now, it's a really interesting dynamic because there's um, something that's been coming up with me over the last week. And I, I know that this is the last time that I'm stepping through it. Like I know this is the absolute last time, but it doesn't make it any less frustrating. So do recognize yourself as you are stepping in and the navigation that you are taking and the old, um, the old steps that you are taking off the back of that. You are working through lots of things from your past and, and it might not just be like this particular physical vessel that you remember. There's lots of different things. Now, that said, a lot of people do blame past lives a lot. And I would like you to clean your act up on that. If you are working through something, choose to step forwards, choose to be decisive, choose to be loving, choose to have the energy that is going to support it. Have you decided the way that your life is going to be in 2023? So continuing on from that, there is going to be a huge amount of collective purging taking place through January. The whole month is going to be collective purging. However, like I say, the start of the month may be a little bit more feisty. It may be a little bit more of a breakdown in communication because we do have Mercury retrograde. And I don't actually like to talk about these planets being in retrograde and things like that because people tend to use it as excuses. However, I wanted to bring it up into consciousness for you because there is a communication breakdown taking place. There is miscommunication. And on that note, we are collective purging that. OK, um, do, when we get to about the 13th, 16th of January, like I say, we're going to be stepping much more into the divine feminine. We're going to be stepping much more into the emotional side of purging. Now, what's very fascinating is my beautiful team. Um, lots of them have been messaging me saying, oh, my God, I can't stop shouting at people. Oh, my goodness, I can't stop crying. So depending on where they are in their journey, they are going through. Um, they're, they're actually purging on purging on purging. I just said, how funny is that? Purging on behalf of the collective as well so please 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 do recognize that this is a real behavior that is taking place right now and it might not feel comfortable for you in fact it doesn't feel comfortable for many many people the collective energy is also rising hence we are purging we are purging at a much quicker rate so if you all of a sudden burst into tears and you you, you don't know why you're crying like just be gentle with yourself if you find yourself having um, a reaction to something, ask yourself where that reaction is coming from. Is it yours or is it somebody else's stuff? And do not be delusional. Do not be delusional. You know, your reactions are your things. It's based on the, um, you know, the emotional trauma that you've had. So ask yourself, what is this about? Is it because you're not getting the attention you need? Is it because, um, you know, you're perceiving not to be heard? Like, ask yourself the question. It's a really good time to, like, buckle up and set your intentions to be really clear and brutal with yourself, for want of a better word. Honesty is the only way that we are going to get through this. January is going to be massively transformational. Every area of your life can be changing in January. We have, like I said, been work, walking through the murky waters. We always knew that September, October time through to December, stepping into January was going to be bloody difficult. It was going to be the heaviest. There was going to be lots collapsing, lots moving, lots going on behind the surface, you know, lots of discernment required. Now, this month in January, stepping into February is going to be massively transformational. So please do recognize the person that you are right now is very unlikely going to be the person that you are in just a month's time. Look for change. Where do you want to make change is in your life? How do you feel about change? Does change scare you? 
What do you need to do to make the changes for you to actually live the life that you choose, that you desire, that your heart is craving? There is going to be a massive influx of love coming through January. It is the time for love. It's the time to step back into the love vibration. It's time for you to recognize that you deserve love. It's the time for you to recognize the standards within love. It's the time for you to have conversations about where you see love going. And if you're single right now, still please have those conversations. It's very, very important. You must be setting the tone for your love. But do remember when you call in love, whether it's with another person or with yourself, you are going to get challenged to the max. The universe doesn't say, oh, Lucy's ready for love now. Let's just give it to her really easily. No, you're going to have to step up. You're going to have to own it. You're going to have to fight for it. Chances are. The energies are so profound right now, but you also need to remember your standards. Standards are very, very important as we are stepping through the initial part of 2023. Now, there is a real community feel coming through the, the general energy of 2023. People are going to be going out seeking their tribes. They're stepping away from family or people that they are not aligned to and they are leaning into their soul family. Now, that may be really challenging when, you know, you love your family and you want to be around your family and you really want to make it work because you're a fixer, you're a rescuer. Like uh, most of my tribe are fixers and rescuers. Why? Because I'm a fixer and a rescuer. However, it's very important to start recognizing that there are um, there are attachments that we have. There are connections that we have that are not going to be going forwards with us. And that's a really difficult pill to swallow, a really difficult pill when, you know, they've given birth to you or they've brought you up or like whatever it is. You know, I know people um, that are stepping away from siblings, they're stepping away from family, like family members, whether that be an auntie and uncle that actually brought them up because all of a sudden they've realized that they're not aligned. And it doesn't have to be nasty. It doesn't have to be narky. It's just wow, we're no longer aligned. So I'm just going to focus on me. And naturally, by, by living that process, people start to gravitate away. It's the people that are trying to cling on and hold on to everything that are going to get burnt. They are going to get burnt. This first quarter of 2023, people are going to get burnt. It's time for soul family. It's time for tribe connection. It's time for you to create what is right for you. Sounds like this month is going to suck, doesn't it? But actually, if you put if you if you look at it from a much more open mind perspective, you will realize that actually this is going to be very freeing. Freedom is another really big part of January. We're going to be releasing ourselves from all of these attachments. We're going to be releasing ourselves from the expectations of other people. Now, I'm excited to say, because I've got a lot bubbling in January business wise and innovation and the creation of new and the birthing of new ideas are going to be freaking massive. And that really excites me. Like I say, I've woken up this morning and I've got this real get shit done attitude going on and I'm ready to focus on my business. I'm ready to focus on my book coming out. I'm ready to create new um, videos. I actually feel that in December I got lost a little bit and I'm not I'm not scared or embarrassed to admit that to you guys, but I actually feel as if I lost myself somewhere in there. And I don't know if that's because I was so exhausted from all the traveling or what it was, but I'm, I'm owning it. You know, I want to be back. I love my business. I love my work. I love the focus that I have. I love producing these videos for you guys. So that's the commitment that I am making. I have so many new ideas, but like literally birthing out of me at the moment. And I am so excited to bring them to you. That said, I know a lot of you absolutely love my healing days, my online healing days. So what I'm going to be doing through um, probably February, end of February, beginning of March, is I'm going to do the next online healing session. Now, these are profound. People have come to these sessions and they've left and they've never had an issue with their thyroid again or never had an issue with their hormones again. So please do keep your eye out for that. And the best way to do that is either on my website, www.lucydavis.com or keeping an eye on my YouTube or my social media channels, all of which will be in the um, description field below. January is about imagination. Whatever you can think of and whatever you can dream of, you can bring it into reality. You can create anything that you are thinking about. All you need to do is give it the energy, give it the focus. This old law of attraction kind of manifestation is no longer working. This 
oh, when it happens, it happens is no longer working. If you are not giving life to what you would like in your life, you're not going to get it. You are going to get burnt. You are going to get held up. You are going to be stopped in your tracks. And this is what is taking place right now. The universe is humbling people. So by the middle of this month, you will have the energy and the focus to drive projects forwards. Like this whole new get shit done energy that I'm embodying today is going to be in and around us. The toxic masculine energy that has been flooding the planet is going to start to drop away. Like I said, I feel around the 13th or the 16th of the month, the toxicity is going to be, you know, just starting to drop away. And this this surge of divine feminine energy, the nurturing, the love, the kindness, the um, peace, the gentle, that is going to be coming in in full swing. On the note of the toxic masculine energy, have you noticed that people have been behaving a bit weird? <laughs> I have. Have you noticed that people have been working really, really hard rather than allowing the flow, just allowing the flow to come in and and just, you know, have a little bit of that um, contagious energy that comes when you are in your flow? Have you noticed people being confrontational and aggressive? I have massively. It's been very interesting in the airports, in the, you know, the different countries where I've been, um, different conversations that I've heard. You know, my clients have come to me and said, my gosh, like, I'm not sure what's going on right now. There seems to be this whole aggressive feistiness that came through December. And I did warn you. I did warn you in the the new moon and the full moon updates for December, there was going to be a whole new level of feistiness. Like I say, we should be delighted. The activation of the divine feminine energy is back. We are going to be seeing a surge of this. Now, this is because we are stepping into um, the in, into Aquarius. Now, as we step into Aquarius, this is the age that we are stepping into. And it's very much about love and peace and wisdom and healing and nurturing, which is why now, as we step into that energy, we are going to be recognizing that things have shifted. And you will probably sit there and be like, my gosh, how did I get through December? Or how did I get through the last few months being so uptight and so wired? Like wired is a word that is it, it's it's speaking for a lot of people right now. They're wired. They're so confused and caught up in what I call a spider web or in a net. And this activation of the divine feminine, thank goodness, is going to free some people from that if they are up for it. Not everybody wants to be. Some people like being caught up in that energy. And you know what? If the, uh, if you're one of those people, there's absolutely nothing that we can do about that until you decide to do that. The gifts are coming online over the course of the next three months, but particularly in January, you will notice your intuition, your psychic abilities, your tele telepathy, all of it coming online far greater. And you'll probably start to say, how did I even know that? How did I know that? A lot of questions around your inner knowing and your wisdom will be surfacing. You are going to know things that you have absolutely no idea how you know you know them, but you know 100% verbatim without any question that that is the truth. Now, why is this happening on the planet right now? We are shifting. I talk about this a lot. We are literally shifting the planet into a new level of consciousness. And every single time the planet just moves a tiny bit, it causes chaos within the physical vessel. Now, it, it is chaotic because we've never done this before. It is chaotic because we're essentially ascending, but in our dense human vessel. So there is going to be a misalignment that takes place. There is going to have to be more healing. We are going to have to be more honest with ourselves. We have to relinquish the, the reins of delusion. We have to relinquish those reins. We must work through the shadow element, elements of ourselves don't really like to use those words like shadow elements and shadow and that kind of stuff you know we need to be looking at our inner child what is our inner child not having their needs met on why do we have to do certain things what parts of us would we really like to explore now that's about you that's not about somebody else's perception of you that's about you what is the parts of you that you want to relinquish this is how we're going to get humankind into alignment Results are going to be happening super quickly. As soon as you make a decision and you stick with it and you decide that you're going to work at something, it's going to be felt a lot deeper. So it's probably going to be more painful, but it will be over much more quickly. So now is the time to be recognizing. Now is the time to be looking at all of this as an opportunity. Use your discernment. How do you feel? 
not about how do other people feel about something how do you feel I mean I've heard there's lots of stuff going on like in the politics world again at the moment and you know use your discernment with it you can get caught up in it or you can actually just say this is not my show this is not my circus and I'm not going to get involved in it discernment 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 through January use your discernment how do you feel is this my stuff is this ego coming in is this my shadow attempting its best to protect me gosh it's busy isn't it <laughs> the last thing that I want to talk about for the January update is the number of opportunities that are going to be presenting themselves to you you are going to get offers from all over the place. You're going to get offers of money. You're going to get offers of love. You're going to get offers of moving. You're going to get offers of travel. You are going to get so many opportunities presented to yourself in January. Now, there's two sides to this. One is to see if you are brave. The other to see if you are easily distracted. So do keep your wits about you. And like I said before, use your discernment as to which one it is working for you. Not every opportunity presented as if it's an opportunity is an opportunity so stick with where your energy feels right stick with your passion stick with your love and you will not go far wrong ladies and gents thank you so much for having me happy 1st of january 2023 i am so 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 excited to be going on this journey with you again through the rest of this year like i say i will do a look back over 2022 and i will also at some point over the next few weeks channel the information of the general consensus of the whole of 2023 and i will jump on and share it with you i look forward to seeing you guys super soon whether that be at Soul School Self Love Club or any of my live videos or online, um, you know, things that I do. I just look forward to seeing you there. I'll catch you in the next video, guys. Lots of love. Take care.